This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by HomelandStupidity.us. Hi. Hi, Representative Shellman. Can I interview you real quick? Okay, that's Representative Shellman. She's the woman who is behind the uh, bill to ban guns in the state house, and also the woman who. Uh, threatened to have my site, uh, my website hacked if I, uh, if she didn't like the story. The last story that I did about her, which included an interview with her, I don't know how easy or difficult it was to hear what she had to say when I just asked her for another interview. Basically what she was saying was that she'd already done one interview with me and she didn't want to do another one. I'd also like to clarify, she's trying to ban guns from the state house, not from the, not from the entire state. Firearms are currently legal here. You can bring them in. Now I'm about to go into the gallery where I will not be able to talk, so I'm just going to give you a quick shot, of, or quick some shots of how it looks. And down below, you'll see the reps meeting for their House floor vote. So basically what was happening just a minute ago is they were having something of a uh, memorial type of speech for uh, memorial speech for Mike Wally, the minority leader in the House, a Republican who died uh, just a few days ago. Yeah, they totally ignored George Washington. <laughs> like, uh... By the way, it's March 5th, 2008. The New Hampshire State House, this is the Ridley Report. Folks from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance are out in force today to keep an eye on the reps. As a House floor vote gets underway, Matt Simon here from NH Common Sense says he sees a lot of empty seats today down there, and it may be connected uh, to the fact that I think Mr. Whaley's funeral or his uh, memorial service is today. Now, a group of Liberty Alliance folks are spilling out into the hall uh, so that they can. Uh, head over to the governor's office to weigh in against any kind of perceived cooperation with real ID. That's all us. So there they go. Heading into the governor's office. I was wondering if we could leave something for him. Okay, our concern is the real ID, okay, and the Federal Homeland Security has instructed all of the governors to to sign for an extension. Okay, we're well, allowing the New to participate in the real ID, and Governor Lynch signed on, and we just wanted to let him know that we're fully behind him and we support him. Okay, so can we sign something or something if he's busy? Or um, did you want to write on? Like a letter, and we could all sign it or yeah. something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be good because I mean like we're here. I don't, I don't know if I have enough room for everybody, but let me see if I can get a bigger piece of paper. Okay, that, he, he's going to be here at eleven, so. Well, she said he just went into a meeting. Yeah. We'll ask her. Uh, we'll ask. Bill from Winchester here has a letter uh, for the governor in case we're not able to meet with him in person. But the hope is that uh, folks will be able to meet with Governor Lynch when he comes out of his meeting. I, I can check. I can see if here's the. Paper. I hate to be a pest, but you know how we are. Yeah, let me just check. Yeah, if it's possible, you know, just like five minutes, ten minutes, minutes. Okay. Okay. Bottom line is his secretary is going to see if uh, Governor Lynch can meet with us for five or ten minutes. We're here. We may as well give it a shot. All right. <laughs> Actually, the worst part was 
Okay, super. So you're gonna let us know. Oh, okay. P pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Super. Thanks so much. So Liberty lovers have uh, just crammed into uh, Governor Lynch's office. Uh, their message is sort of a mixed one. Uh, Governor Lynch is uh, generating mixed response regarding his handling of the whole real ID issue. Governor Lynch has sent a letter to the Department of Homeland Security asking them not to impose real ID restrictions on us, but some folks are angry that he even communicated with them at all. There is a showdown brewing between Concord and Washington over whether New Hampshire will comply with the costly and privacy-killing federal mandate known as real ID. So we'll see if the guys get a chance to meet with Governor Lynch. They're trying to, and that'll be in the next report, one way or another. It's Dave Riley signing out for RidleyReport.com this March 5th, 2008. Have you ever wished you could just grab the president's attention for a few seconds and tell him what's wrong with Washington? Well, there is one free stater who's apparently already done it, Michael Hampton over at HomelandStupidity.us. Hampton reports that a summary of at least one of his articles ended up in the president's daily news briefing. So, why do powerful Americans pay attention to HomelandStupidity.us? Well, it's because Michael Hampton is a great whistleblower. Drop by HomelandStupidity.us and see for yourself what the fuss is all about. HomelandStupidity.us